In today's video, you will grab a detailed knowledge about fiber optics system. After watching a full video, you will be able to crack any interview related to fiber optics. So let's get started. Either you are a fiber optics engineer, supervisor or a designer, this video will help you to grab enough knowledge to face any interview related to fiber optics. So please subscribe to my channel for the future updates. The first basic question is always what is the fiber optics system? Fiber optics is a high-speed communication technology used in the modern digital world. Fiber optics is a technology that uses optical fibers to transmit data as light signals, delivering high bandwidth, electromagnetic immunity, and low signal loss. Fiber optics network operates on either single mode or a multi-mode fiber. Single mode fiber is used for longer distances due to the smaller diameter of the glass fiber core. This smaller diameter lessens the possibility for attenuation, so signal can travel a long distance as a single beam as shown here. Multi-mode fiber is used for shorter distances because the larger core opening enables light signals to bounce and reflect more along the way. The larger diameter permits multiple light pulses to be sent through the cable at one time, which results in more data transmission. This also means there is more possibility for signal loss. Another question can be, what are the applications of fiber optics system? One is internet, broadband or fiber to the home called FTTH. Computer network is also connected with fiber optics system in order to get high speed communication. Medical equipment are connected with fiber optics network in order to provide high speed data in multi-speciality hospitals. Automotive industry uses fiber optics for the operations of high-speed metro, submarines, crews and many more. Telephone networks also uses fiber optics in order to achieve high-speed connections and best audio quality. On-site inspection engineers use optical fibers to detect damages and faults which are at hard to reach places. Fiber is also used to detect any leakage in pipelines in oil and gas field. Cable TV operators are using fiber optics to deliver high-speed television programs to consumers. Military uses fiber optic technology for a wide variety of air, sea, ground, and space applications. CCTV surveillance cameras communicate to the servers using high-speed fiber optic system. A perimeter intrusion detection system, PIDS, is a device or sensor that detects the presence of an intruder attempting to breach the physical perimeter of a property, building, or other secured area using fiber optic system. All types of high-speed communications, either they are for commercial, industrial or satellite or marine applications, fiber optics is the backbone for them. Third question can be where single mode wavelengths, 1310 and 1550, and multi-mode wavelengths, 850 and 1300, are used in why? In a single mode fiber, for 1310 nanometer wavelength, dispersion loss is 0.35 decibels per kilometer. Because of high dispersion loss 1310 is used for less than 40 kilometers distance. In a single mode fiber, for 1550 nanometer wavelength, dispersion loss is 0.25 decibels per kilometer. Because of lower dispersion loss 1550 is used for more than 40 km distance to 120 km distance. The loss of multi-mode fiber is much higher at 850 nanometers, called short wavelength, at 3 decibels per km, while at 1300 nanometers, called long wavelength, it is only 1 decibel per km. That means at 850 nanometers, half the light is lost in 1 km, while only 20% is lost at 1300 nanometers. Another important question is, what are the standards of fiber optics? ITU stands for International Telecommunication Union. ITU has categorized single mode and multi mode fibers to assist suppliers and their customers to meet specific telecom applications. This is under ITUT Study Group 15. Now let's see the categories of fiber optic cables. ITU G651.1 is a characteristics of a 50 by 125 multi-mode graded index optical fiber cable for the optical access network. ITU G652 is a characteristics of a 9 by 125 single mode fiber optics cable. The most modern is G625D fiber that has low attenuation in cable, maximum of 0.25 decibels per kilometer at 1550 nanometers. 
ITU G653 is used in DWDM applications. ITU G654 is used in submarine systems. ITU G655 these fibers support transmission rates of 40 gigabits per second over long distances. ITU G656 this category is the CWDM and DWDM optimized fibers. ITU G657 these category B fibers are system compatible with ITUTG 657A and ITUTG 652D fibers in access networks. Friends, another most important questions will be covered in part 2 of this video. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe for more future updates.